All right, so get fit. Exercising during pregnancy not only benefits the mom-to-be, but also the baby. Uh, so Benjamin Boudreaux and his wife, Sam, tripping over these weights. Uh, so they're here with some, uh, some fitness tips. So Benjamin, you're with Acceleration. Mm -hmm. um, first things first, should all pregnant moms work out? Every pregnancy is a different case, okay. so you always want to consult your doctor first. Okay. But the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to start a fitness program right when you get pregnant. You can maintain and do the stuff you were doing before at a slower and kind of um, easier pace. Okay. But it's nothing to jump right into like, oh, I'm pregnant, I got to start a new fitness program. That's not what you want to do. Okay, so steady as she goes. What you're doing before, try to keep that up. Yes. Because the benefits we've noticed is great energy, great sleep, which okay. we need a lot of before this baby wait, wait, comes. Wait, 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 great sleep? <laughs> okay, maybe not <laughs> great. No, seriously, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's huge, you know, for pregnant women. I mean, sleeping can be very, very difficult. Yeah, and you a big thing I notice is she comes home a lot with, well, she used to with a lot of back pain because she's carrying this new load. Right. So what we've been doing really during pregnancy, what you want to do is train this back side, your posterior chain. Okay. Because this is stuff that's carrying that load. So her traps, uh, lats, all the posterior chain muscles. And what you want to do when you're doing this is, before she worked out, her boot camps get pretty intense. You know, okay. she's working out, getting to that point of exhaustion where she's sweating like crazy. You don't want to do it during pregnancy. Okay. You want to keep a good, nice temperature, not too hot. There's a bun in the oven, so you don't want to right, right, you know, yeah, get yeah. too hot. So we've been doing that, but also the benefits after pregnancy uh, they include dealing better with postpartum depression, uh, the recovery after birth, okay. and also when she's going to get fit after pregnancy, this helps a ton with that. Okay, cool. All right, so what do we, uh, what do we got going here? Okay, so the first one we're doing, guys, is a kettlebell swing. She's got a lightweight. Um, you're right there, good. All you do is line up with your toes right there. Okay. Let's go like this, guys. Knees to elbows. All right. And just let your arms go straight, grab that bell. And all I want you to do is stand up and swing that bell and keep going. Let that momentum carry you, good. And what you want to do is just squeeze your butt and you're squatting and hinge at the same time. But again, this is really good for the whole backside. Gets the heart rate going a little bit. Kettlebell swings. We'll do about three sets of 10 of these, okay? So you feeling that, Alan? Yeah, yeah. Popping it's... the hips, good power. Awesome. Go ahead and set those down, guys. Next, we're gonna use these bounce slides. These things are awesome. It's like a little furniture mover. Okay. All she's gonna do is put that down. You just follow her. Good. So Aaron, you got 15, she's got 10s. And all you're gonna do is just slide that foot back nice and slow. And she's touching her knee lightly to the ground. Just like that and up. And the reason I like this one is you gotta keep your core, oh sorry Sam, you gotta keep your core tight and your shoulders up. We're carrying this load nice and smooth. It's getting some stretch with the hip, but it's also getting some power and some strength too. All right, now on these, if someone doesn't have, what was this called, the power slide? It's a bell slide. Bell slide, I mean, could you use a paper plate? Yes, right? paper mean, plate or a towel, anything. Something on a smooth surface. So we'll do three sets of 10 each leg. Right. Then we'll drop those. There we go. All right, and this, this is a little band from Rogue. It costs like 25 bucks. Okay. So it's a really, really effective exercise, especially during pregnancy. All you can do is keep your hands up and pull down. Good. And what we're doing here, you can turn aside, Sammy. We're pulling all these muscles back. So Sam works on a computer all day, so this is good for anybody, I mean, outside of pregnancy. I'm getting all these muscles to pull back, so her posture corrects it a lot. Okay. Very good. All right, so, shot. Yep. so I'm just gonna take this, mm -hmm. pull it right down. Nice. You can make now it a little is harder. It, is it from the top or is it from the front? A little angle, like right here, coming down. Nice, and so all I'm trying to do is just squeeze right here, squeeze my hand, perfect. So you feel those muscles working? Yeah. Jeez, it have been working out, man. <laughs> well, look, here's the thing. Um, Post-pregnancy, I have a friend who came over with his baby. This baby's like a month old, you know, weighs like, what, 12 pounds. I'm holding it for five minutes, mm -hmm. and I'm tired already. Yes. So I imagine these are a lot of the same muscles that you're working on here, too. Yes, and this is, that leads right into my next one. Check this one out. It's called okay. the suitcase deadlift. This one's awesome. She's gonna stand right to the side. Think how often you're gonna pick up a car seat or just pick up stuff in general for your baby. She's gonna go right this. It's a suitcase deadlift, so it's off to the side. And what you wanna see is she's not favoring one side. She's going straight back, using all these muscles. So it's getting oh, ready okay. to carry that baby too. So give okay. it a shot. So by using the one side, yes. you kind of stabilize yourself, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. So chest stays up, perfect, right there. And that's 35 pounds, Alan, so okay. typical suitcase. My going down. Goodness. Car seat. Yes. Right. Okay, but you want to make sure I don't do one of these. Exactly, exactly. Keep your chest up. All right, chest up. Last one we're going to show, this is great for athletes and anybody in general. Alan, you can grab that 15-pound plate. Yeah. You take one knee. Here you go, Sammy. Okay. So now when you think of going to the crib, lifting something up, using your core rotational strength, she's keeping one knee nice and tight, and she's squeezing her core the whole time, just rotating nice and slow over here and back. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so one knee down. So it's kind of like a, what does it say? Um, what is that? Lunge. Yes. Right? It's called the inline lunge. So you're right here. Pull right to my hand. Oh, yeah. Good. If you want to make it harder, Alan, take this foot 
and line it up with this knee line right here. I don't, but I will. Okay. <laughs> right there. Whoa. See, now you gotta really engage your yeah, core. Bam. Okay. So this is great for athletes as well too. I do this yeah. a lot of my pitchers. No, I like this because this, you know, it's a it's a pregnancy fitness, but this is good for the dads too. You're yes. gonna be doing the same stuff once the baby's here. Exactly. Okay, all right, I like it. Yeah, so that's what we've been doing. Those are kind of our staples. Uh, we have tons of workouts like this. And today on Facebook, uh, Acceleration Sports LLC, you can go to our Facebook page today, click the link, we'll give you seven free at-home workouts you can do. And it works right, I mean, when do you do? What? When do you do? September 24th. I was like, am I not supposed to ask you that? <laughs> yeah, and look at that, working out, like, okay, cool, I like it. Good stuff. She's doing a great job. All right, we're done.